What's up guys, my name is Bryce and welcome to Bryce Games. Today we're going to be playing Will You Press the Button, so let's get started. Alright, so this is a game that is sort of like Would You Rather, but instead of choosing between two alternatives, you have to decide whether or not you'll accept the one. So basically every scenario will look like this one, where you get something good to start off, where you will get all the money in the world, but a con comes after to make it not so good, but it's all in pennies, and then you decide whether or not you want to accept the deal. If you want to accept the deal, then you press this button right here, the really cool big button and if you don't like it then you press the button that says I will not which I guess you're also pressing a button but it's not nearly as cool as this button so yeah basically that's all there is to it so let's try out this scenario so you will get all the money in the world but it's all in pennies I mean it, it kind of sucks that it's all in pennies but you get all the money in the world I think this is a pretty obvious one so let's press the button and accept it and after you decide to press the button or not then it'll show you the statistics of what everyone else chose so now I can see that 72% of people also pressed the button with me while 28% of people did not which means most people actually agree with me and I'm guessing most of you guys did as well so yeah that's basically what this game is let's try it a few more scenarios you can use the force but each time you do you have to pay George Lucas a hundred dollars no George Lucas what are you doing first he has to ruin Star Wars and then then he has to charge me a hundred dollars each time I want to use the force man he is the most evil man in the world <laughs> I'm just kidding all right so I think I think in this scenario it would definitely be worth it I mean what is a hundred dollars if you get to use the force I mean you could probably make that money back easily by using the force you're like this is the account I'm looking for and then they just give you all the money from the bank I think it's worth it I think it's worth it we're gonna press the button let's do it all right only 50% of people press the button what are you talking about do you not want to use the force I, I don't even care how much it costs I want to use the force that's amazing you know what you know what let's let's go on to the next dilemma let's go on to the next one you have the option to make five shows cease to exist but your favorite show goes along with them well I'm not gonna do this in a million years. That would just be silly. I mean, if you don't like a show, don't watch it. It's that easy. I mean, why would I make my favorite show disappear just so some I don't like disappear? That's that's just silly. Let's. I'm not pressing that button. That's crazy. All right, good. That means most people agree with me. I mean, why would you want to make your favorite TV show go away just so you can make some go away that you don't watch? That. That just doesn't make any sense. All right, let's let's move on to the next one. You can attract any person you desire to sleep with you, but for the rest of your life, whenever your parents have sex, you have to watch. Nope, 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 all the nope. <laughs> really, 40 people actually accepted that? You're, you're crazier people than I am. That's not happening in a million years. All right, ne next dilemma. <laughs> you become immortal, but everyone around you dies of old age. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. That's like a really thought-provoking one because on, on the one hand, it's really, really cool to be immortal. You could do so much good in the world. You could be a superhero. You could share all the knowledge in the world, all the knowledge. I mean, we could have a Lamborghini, but we could really care about knowledge. I'm just kidding. But everyone around you dies of old age. I mean... I don't think that's worth it because you would you would fall in love with people and then they would die and you would be spending the rest of your life without them and you can't kill yourself either like you're immortal you've got no choice you just have to stay alive I, I don't think it's worth it I, I honestly don't think it's worth it in the long run so oh wow this one was 50 50 it was only off by like a hundred votes holy cow that's that's kind of crazy let me know what you guys think about this one cuz I'm a little bit curious to see what you guys think I I just don't think I could go through everyone I love dying. That would... I don't think it'd be worth it. I just don't think it'd be worth it. You write the most enjoyable song possible, but you don't get to hear any other song for the rest of your life? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a terrible situation. I mean, so what if you write the best song ever? You'll make millions and billions of dollars from it, but you don't get to hear any other songs the rest of your life? That's that's kind of a problem. I mean, I don't care how much you love a song. You do not want to listen to it your entire life. I'm not pressing this button. I'm not going to do it. All right, so 76% of people agree with me. That's good. That's good. All right, I made the right decision then. I mean, no one wants to listen to the same song the rest of their life, no matter how good it is. I think, I think that's a pretty easy decision let's let's move on to the next one you will be able to excel and be incredibly successful in any art form you want music film YouTube videos etc but you will be universally disliked and all your fans will be horrible and annoying what 
What? I already think, I think I'm already doing pretty well in the whole YouTube space, but you guys are super nice and not annoying, so I don't even need to press the button because you guys are already there for me and you're not annoying, which, which is fantastic. So I'm not going to press this button. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. All right. 74% of people agree with me. Good. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have if they're all annoying. That's, that's just my opinion on it. So yeah, let's head on over to the next dilemma. You become Nian Cat, but you will constantly have to crap rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why anyone would want that, but that's kind of a hilarious one. I like it. I like it. I'm not gonna do it, but I like it. <laughs> All right, 41% of people said yes. Really? Why would you want to be the Nyan Cat? There's there's no point in it. Why? I, I don't understand. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. You will become rich, sexy, and famous, but you will have the genitals of the opposite gender. So... So I become really sexy, rich, and famous, but I also become a woman. Uh, okay, why not? I mean, I'm totally cool with becoming rich and famous. I mean, I've already got the sexy part down, obviously. But, I mean, becoming a woman's not that bad, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. So, yeah, I'm gonna press the button. Of course I want to be rich and famous. Uh, 48% of people pressed the button, while 52% did not. Okay, I guess I guess that was a pretty splitting decision. I don't know. I don't know. I could have gone either way on it So I guess I guess it makes sense to me So I guess this one was a pretty good dilemma So yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this one Let me know in the comments down below which one you would choose cuz I want to know I want to know what you guys think about this So yeah, let's head on to the next dilemma you get one wish and magical powers But you must use those powers to risk your life and fight witches. Oh dang. That's actually pretty cool um I can I use my wish to get more wishes? That's what I want to know. But I mean, I guess I guess I will play by the technicalities of only one wish. Uh, could I just wish that I don't have to fight the witches and I get magical powers without having to fight wishes? I think I win. I think I win. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> All right, 69% of people press the button. They must have had the same idea I did. That's that's pretty fantastic. I like that one. You will become a god, but you are bound by chains and forced to listen to two voices inside your head. I mean, if I'm a god, that means I have unlimited power, which means I don't have to listen to the second part of this. So screw you. I'm pressing the button because I'm a god and I can do that. I can just get rid of it. So I did it. Wait, really? Really? Only 34% of people press the button? I mean, I guess they're playing by the rules. I'm not playing by the rules because I'm a god and I can do whatever I want. So, that, that's my thoughts on the matter. What, whatever, I'm moving on to the next one. You know the cure to cancer, but no one will ever take it seriously, rendering the knowledge useless. Oh no! So, you could, you could save millions of people but no one no one actually cares they just don't listen to you they're like nah that's stupid i'm like but the cure is to have a rubber ducky with you and they're like no that's stupid i'm like please please listen to me i i think i think at the end it would probably be worth it to know just so that just so that you could actually help some people i mean so what if people don't listen to you you could give all the people rubber duckies who have cancer they're like why do i have a rubber ducky i'm like shh just accept it. Just accept it. And then I will save hundreds of lives. I mean, honestly, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Let's press the button. 59% of people press the button. I mean, so what if people don't believe you? If you know the cure, you can help people. I think, I think in the end, it's definitely worth it to press the button. People don't actually need to believe in the cure to cancer. They just need to be cured. So... Who cares if they believe? You can save lives. I, I think I think it's as easy as that. You can completely change your appearance as often as you'd like, but all the people who knew you would completely forget about you if you change. So, so you can change as much as you want, but everyone forgets you if you do. So, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I mean, it'd be really cool to like change and shape shift and stuff, but I think it's more important that you have like people you know and care about you and stuff. So I'm not gonna press the button. I'm not gonna do it. That that seems silly to me. 46% of people press this button. Really? I, I thought this one would be a lot lower. I mean, I don't know. I sort of prioritize relationships a little bit more than I do my physical appearance. So I don't know. I guess I guess a lot of people out there want to change. I guess I guess that was a pretty good dilemma. I liked it. I liked it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, for the rest of your life, you will never experience heartache or social injustice or diarrhea ever again. <laughs> One of those is not like the other, but you can only use Bing for as long as you live. No, not Bing. <laughs> I mean, 
I, I think I think this one's pretty obvious. I mean, Bing is pretty horrible, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm sorry, Google, but never experiencing heartache, social injustice, or diarrhea ever again is probably a little more important than using Google. So I'm gonna press the button. Okay, so it looks like 60% of people press the button. Really? I mean, I honestly thought that one would be a lot higher. I mean, you can get rid of diarrhea. That is probably the most important thing you could get rid of in the entire world. But I, I don't really think Google, I don't I don't think Bing is that that bad. I'm not gonna miss it that much. So I, I think I think it's pretty obvious which one you should have chosen. But let's move on to the next one. You get to be in your dream world forever, but you have to watch your worst nightmare happen for the first 48 hours of it. No! No, not a Justin Bieber concert. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I guess that would be pretty bad. I guess it depends on if you can die. If you can die in the first 48 hours, then I probably don't want it. But I mean, if it's just nightmares, I think I can handle 48 hours of nightmares. So yeah, I'm going to press the button. It's, it seems like a good idea to me. All right, so 73% of people agree with me. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, two days of awfulness is probably worth an entire lifetime of amazingness. So yeah, that makes sense in my mind. You are the greatest programmer in the world, but you can only program Candy Crush spinoffs. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, I could make so many great games. I could make Half-Life 3. I could make a good Spyro game for the first time in years. I mean, there's so many opportunities, but I can only make Candy Crush spinoffs. So, you know what? I will make so much money from a Candy Crush spinoff. You know what? I don't even care. I'm pressing the button. I'm going to get rich. I'm getting rich, guys. 24% of people press the button. I mean, I don't get why more people wouldn't press the button. I mean, there's really not a downside to this. So what if you make a stupid game, you get a lot of money from it, and then you don't actually have to do anything about it ever again, and you just got the free money. So... Why wouldn't you press it? I, I don't understand, but whatever. Let's move on to the next one. You and a person of your choice can choose any power you want, but the person you choose has a 50-50 chance of trying to kill you with their powers. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. So I could get any power I want. I think, I think I would go with infinite good luck, which would make things work out in my favor. I mean, that's a pretty amazing power to have either way. And then he could have whatever power he wants. I don't care. But the 50-50 chance is now 100% chance that it works out in my favor. So why not press the button? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, 69% of people press the button. <laughs> You're hilarious, game. All right, so I guess the infinite good luck is already working for me. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Everyone believes everything you say all of the time. All right, that's pretty cool, but you're unable to tell the truth ever again. Think liar, liar. Oh, no. <laughs> this could be the most hilarious thing ever. You just tell everyone the most absurd things in the entire world. They're like, seems legit. I completely believe you. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's really funny, but I don't know if I'd actually want it. I mean, realistically, I'd probably want to be able to tell the truth, so I guess... I guess I won't press the button. I mean, I really want to troll everyone, but probably, probably shouldn't. All right, 69% of people agree with me. Well, that, that makes sense. All right, let's move on to the next one. You gain superpowers, but you become the opposite sex and you're the only one who realizes it? What? How does, how does that even work? How do you, like that, that would make me a girl, but you guys all still see me the same. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's not that weird. I, how does that work? Do I... Do I still have the parts or do I not? I don't, I don't understand. You know what? You know what? I'll take the superpowers. I don't understand how this works, but I like superpowers. All right, 60% of people pressed the button while 40% did not. Cool. I, st I still don't understand what I agreed to, but I did it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to have to end this video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did and you'd like to see more of this game, then make sure you give the video a like because it really does help me out a lot. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see my new videos as soon as they come out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.